Hey, Christ Alive family. Merry Christmas to all of you. Before we get into a few reminders, as well as the Sunday morning recap on hope, here are a few Christmas jokes not to tell others. Why do reindeer like Beyonce so much? She slays. I need some crackers with that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what reindeer game? <laughs> what reindeer game do reindeer play at sleepovers? Truth or <laughs> Truth or dear? This is why we told you you didn't want to tell me. What does Rudolph want for Christmas? A pony sleigh station. Okay, this is why we said don't tell these to anyone. Here are two important reminders for you. 21 days of prayer and fasting will begin this January. If Christ Alive Church is your home church, we're asking that you make this a priority by joining the 21 Days Prayer Group. Whether you know what fasting is or not, we'll equip you with the tools and resources that will help you follow Jesus better in 2022. As we mentioned last week, we're going to build the first phase of a sports complex here on campus that will allow us to host sports and other related events for the purpose of reaching more families with the gospel of Jesus and creating a church culture that values family and time spent together. Because of your generosity, we'll be able to raise $300,000 to fully fund this project. You can give toward this project online or through the Christ Alive mobile app. So this week, we're taking a deeper look into the word hope. Let's say you want to describe the feeling of anticipating a future that's better than the present. You might be giddy or excited or maybe unsure, but most of us know that experience. We call it hope. It's a state of anticipation and it's crucial for healthy human existence And it's a really important concept in the Bible. But biblical hope is based on a person, which makes it different from optimism. Optimism is about choosing to see, in any situation, how circumstances could work out for the best. But biblical hope isn't focused on circumstances. In fact, hopeful people in the Bible often recognize there's no evidence things will get better but you choose hope anyway. David says this in Psalm 62, I wait patiently before God for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them, I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple Mm. me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is only in Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O my people, Mm -hmm. trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart to Him, for God is our refuge. So Christian hope is bold, waiting for humanity and the whole universe to be rescued from evil and death. And some would say it's crazy, and maybe it is. But biblical hope is an optimism based on the odds. It's a choice to wait for God to bring about a future that's as surprising as a crucified man rising from the dead. Christian hope looks back to the risen Jesus in order to look forward And so we wait. And that's what biblical hope is all about. There are two thoughts we want to leave with you. 
Number one, notice how David repeated the word only. What do you think the significance of that is? What other things do you tend to put your hope in besides God? And two, what do you think would change in your life if you believed in Jesus as your only hope without any doubts? When our only hope is Jesus, fear begins to fade away. As we pray over you, close your eyes and receive every word. Father, we come to you right now and ask that you remind every person watching that you are more than capable to provide for every need in their life. We ask for your forgiveness for any place we place our hope in finances, political figures, relationships, job promotions, or anything that is not you. I speak over every person that you would show them any place where their hope in you has been fractured, over any fear, anxiety, and problem. We declare fresh and new hope to be rooted within the hearts of our church family, our city, and our nation. While the world puts their hope in what they can control, teach us to place our hope anew in you every single day. Teach us to become people of hope who walk in purity and power. Show us how to hope so we won't be deceived into putting our trust into anything else but Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for sending your son Jesus as the ultimate and final sacrifice for our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. At 7 p.m. tonight, we are streaming the next two episodes of the TV show, The Chosen, at 7 p.m. on all platforms. Share this video with your friends on social media and bring someone to church with you next Sunday for Simple Christmas. We love you all very much. Merry Christmas.